Hey everybody, I'm JJ, you're watching Reality Survival. So today, uh, or last couple of days, what I've been doing is I have been testing to see if I hook this Golden Mate battery straight up to this Yolanis um, Sappy 1600 with no converter. Uh, you'll remember on the last uh, one of the last videos I showed you, you can use a converter to push in some energy here. Well, one of the subscribers uh, was left some comments for me. And he said, hey, you don't need to use the converter because it's got the battery management system, whatever. It'll it'll push the power in there and you will be able to get a lot of juice out of it. Well, my thought was is that you'd probably only get 50 or 60 percent of the battery out. So I wanted to do a test. And so that's what I did. So I charged that all the way up. Uh, battery was at, I want to say it was 14.6 volts. It was over 14 volts uh, when I when I started. Um, and this was charged up to 100%. And then I did the uh, DC capacity test. And we ended up getting 25, 24 0.72 watt hours so 2500 and tw and 24 watt hours now this unit is a 1500 uh, 1536 watt hours and that is a 1280 now i also did a uh battery capacity test with this by itself to see what its efficiency is and it is about 80 percent efficient so that means um if and i'll put the math on the screen here but if we take the the 80 percent capacity of this one and i don't remember what the number is right off the top of my head like 12 something or whatever um and then we subtract that out from this total then that's pretty close to 100% of that battery life's capacity uh, that's in there. So that's that's awesome. Um, so that means that you don't gotta use those, those DC to DC converters. You can just hook a battery right into your smaller solar generator and not have to purchase these bigger ones with the bigger capacity, you know, that are like 3,000, 2,500, $3,000 or whatever. Um, you could just stack up some of these batteries, have a few extras, and, and you're basically just using this to process the power and or the additional power um, from these. So, you know, this one right now, it, this is a good little unit. Um, I'll do a full review on it uh, in, here in the future, but uh, this is the Yolanis Sappy 1600. Um, I got one for my son for Christmas. Um, they don't have anything in the little apartment that they live in. And so I was like, you know, this seems to be a really good deal. And, and it's like $630. So then you could spend another couple hundred bucks, 250, 230, two, you see, get them on sale, you maybe down as low as 230. But anyway, easily, you know, 250, 260. Um, you can get these uh, LifePo batteries and, you know, stock up a couple of them. Now all of a sudden you got real capability and it's super easy to hook these things up. Um, what I did is, uh, I mean, you could do it with, with any XT60 uh, connector, you know, just like that. That's what this one is, is uh, made to hold. With this other one, um, this, this Blue Yeti, you're going to have to get a barrel plug extension and do it. Um, yeah, it's, it's done. Zero <laughs> percent. Um, so you just get a little extension and you just put some ring terminals on there and just, uh, you know, bolt it to the battery and the cables never got hot or anything. I mean, there was no, you know, not nearly as much, uh, you know, energy loss and all that kind of stuff. Cause I was concerned with, you know, with this one because the, there was so much, um, heat loss or, you know, and everything during the process of converting it, um, and this is just way better way to do it. <laughs> like it really is. Um, I mean, I'm even thinking like you could, you could get a couple of 
you know, 200 amp hour batteries or whatever and wire them in parallel. And I mean, you'd have a massive system, you know, it would, that you could just run off of, off of this for, you know, however long. Um, now it wouldn't going to, it's not going to give you a larger inverter power, right? You still only be limited to 1600 Watts or whatever out of this one, but it could go for a very long period of time. So like you could probably run your refrigerator for a couple of days or something, you know? Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share the results of this with you guys. I thought it was pretty cool and, uh, it definitely, it definitely seems to work just fine and let me see how much voltage we have left in the battery here if i can do this one-handed um okay we get it so we got 11 11.34 volts so um that's pretty well discharged and and towards the end of the cycle it was only putting in, you know, like two or three watts. It, it it was just kind of trickling. The energy was just trickling out. It wasn't coming in, you know, full bore. But it did take, you know, the, this battery and that battery at a 100-watt load. Um, it took 21 hours and 56 minutes and 30 seconds to run all that. So, you know, that's uh, that's that's quite a bit. I mean, that's quite a long time, you know, to run that much. So... Anyway, I thought that was pretty cool and uh, it might be something worth sharing out to people so that they know. Because I, I know those those videos with the converters were pretty popular and that was one of the reasons that I did the video. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. It's sort of a cheap way to, to be able to increase the capacity of your small solar generators. But this does it even cheaper. <laughs> now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it and see if it does it on the Blue Yeti as well. Uh, and I'll let you know if it works, you know, just, just fine on that. I assume that it will, um, as long as you've got a DC in, uh, port, then it should do it. So stay tuned and I will let you know how that goes. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. And don't forget to live the six P's proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe.